Hello everybody and welcome to Mystery Stamping. It's Chrissy here from the Creative Eclectic in Brisbane, Queensland. Happy World Card Making Day. Hope you're having a fabulous day or night. So excited that you could join me. So, um, so much to talk about today. Um, but we'll, I'll just check that everything's, the technology is working this morning. Hoping it's working. Okay. I'm hoping I can see the comments and see who's watching. <coughs> oh, excuse me. It's a bit of a grey old day here in Queensland, or in Brisbane anyway. I just need to open the blinds a bit more to let a bit more light in. Good morning, Glenda. Happy World Card Making Day to you. Hope you're having a fabulous day. Um, are you crafting along with me today, Glenda? I hope so. I'm really excited about this um, little project that I've got going on. I'm hoping that I can um, make, make this full screen. And I'm hoping that it's all taping okay because I have no clue if it is. And my, um, my laptop, I just updated it and it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing. Just see. Oh, it's saying my video has ended, but I hope that's not the case. Let's just go back and see if it's working. It looks like it's still going, so let's see. Anyway, all right, I'm going to press ahead and hope that it's working. Because it might be just me that isn't working. All right. Okay. So, Glenda, if you can still hear me, just give me a little bit of a um, heads up. Uh, like, just comment. All right, I can, yep. Hi, oh, you received your card and your bling yesterday. Thank you. I hope it made you smile because it was World Smile just day yesterday. Oh, I'm glad you can hear me. All right. So are you crafting along? Yes, you are. Great. All right. Well, it's 9.33. Let's get started. So um, we'll just look at the supplies that we need. Now I've got the US supplies in bracket. I don't know who else is watching, but we'll see. And hopefully someone else will join us and if they join us that's okay we can catch them up oh that's great i'm so glad thank you so much for all your support and i hope you use that bling right so let's see what we need for our supplies i emailed these out to people on my mailing list yesterday so and they've been on the site for a little while but you don't need terribly much for this card so you need a piece of white or very vanilla that is now i'll talk australian measurements but um the us measurements are in brackets and we can go back to that so it's three and three quarter inches by five and a half inches all right you need what we call a flap layer now this is um Four and a half inches high by five inches wide, and it's scored at two inches. Okay. You'll need 
a couple of circles, two, two inch circles or all thereabouts, like it doesn't have to be exact if you've got a die that's a little bit bigger or smaller. All right, then you need some colored cardstock. So you need some for the base. So this is in Australian measurements, eight inches by five and three quarter inches. Okay, there's then um, got two pieces of colored cardstock. So these, um, I've done them in a decorative circle, but you could do a plain circle or if you're using a square, I forgot to say, you could do, if you don't have circles, you could use squares. It doesn't matter. All right. Then we need some pattern paper. So you need to be aware of your pattern. All right. So it'll be a portrait card. So it'll be an upright card. I think the Americans call it a hamburger card. I'm not quite sure why that is, but anyway, so it's upright and it will be um, three and three quarters wide by five and a half high. So and then you'll need another two pieces of pattern paper and sorry, you can't read that. So one is, they're both four and a quarter no yeah four and a quarter inches high this one is one and three quarter quarter inches wide and this one is two and three quarter inches wide that's dreadful i'll have to fix that so people can read it okay then you'll need your stamp set um so today i'm using the very cute stamp set I'm also using um, the Walk in the Forest pattern paper, which coordinates with it. Um, it's the Give Back paper. Um, if you have a punch or anything that you need to use, um, you'll need your inks. I'm using two inks today, Barmy Blue and Pretty Peacock. And I think I'm also using Garden Green as well. You'll need your adhesive. So I've got glue, I've got my seal, I've got dimensionals, I've got my, you need your bone folder and you'll need your block or your stamp positioning tool. <coughs> so um, then you, any optional extras like Wink of Stella, your scissors, your take a picture, any punches that you might need or dies, okay? I didn't actually write that down. I think I wrote it on the Facebook one. All right. Oh, and you need a scrap of white for your stamped images. So you're ready to get started, Glenda. And we're going to do things a little bit differently to what we normally do. Normally we do all the scoring and everything first and cutting first, but we are doing, we're starting with some stamping. So I'm going to be stamping off camera. So you're ready. Awesome. Okay. So let's get started with clue number one. No, clue number two. Oh, go ahead. It's really early in the morning. Is it fine up there, Glenda? So we're going to stamp. Let's start with our stamping. So we're going to stamp our... Um, sentiment on one of the circles. Or if you're using a square or whatever other shape you're using, you might choose to use um hexagonals so you're going to stamp your sentiment on that and if you want to decorate that you can let's move my colors out of the way so yeah i'm really excited today it's world card making day oh it's overcast up there i won't ask you too many questions glenda because i know you're stamping but when you finish your first uh, sorry, clue number two, just type two and done. 
I don't know if I can zoom in, make it a bit easier. Um, let's see, let's get rid of those. See if I can zoom in. Oh, I can. But I'll just have to move that down a little bit. There we go. That might be a bit easier to read. Let's move this over here. I make it a bit easier to read. Mm -hmm. All right. So when you've stamped the first one, just type to and done. That note just lets me know that I can um, move on to the next clue. So who else have we got watching us this morning? Can't see who that other person is. Oh, that is better. To and done. Okay, if you're watching, just make sure you comment and say hello. So the purpose of mystery stamping is so that you can use things in your stash and you're not too caught up on how it's going to look. You just trust the process and trust that you, your interpretation of the clues. So we're going to move on to clue number three now. Hi, Kathy. How are you? It's lovely to see you. Are you crafting along with us today or are you just watching? Not that there's anything wrong with just watching. It's, um, I just need to know if I have to go back and um, catch you up on where we're at. No, you just popped on. Oh, lovely. That's great. Okay, so clue number... Number three is on your scrap piece, you're going to stamp your image and colour it in or whatever it is you need to do. Um, and then you're going to punch or die cut or fussy cut that image out. And then you're going to attach it to the circle, white, white or vanilla circle that you haven't stamped on. Okay, now you can attach it with dimensionals, you can um, attach it with um, all nice and flat, and or you could just, um, if you wanted to, if you didn't want to die cut or fussy cut, you can just stamp directly onto the circle. Now, my card is obviously going to be a Christmas card. I'm in a Christmas card making frenzy at the moment. So, so Kathy, how are you? I hope you're really well. I haven't seen you for ages. Well, seen you online, you know what I mean. Okay. Um, So when you finish clue number three, just type three and done. Now, if you want to, this is because we're doing all, getting all our stamping out of the way um, early, you can also stamp an image on the, one of the corner or the edges of your three and three quarter by five and a half inch card white card okay so your biggest well, I don't know if it is should be yeah your longest one uh, not even your longest the white piece that's going to go inside your card okay I think that made made sense so this so once you've done step number three and I know that's sort of a three-part step a three-part thing you can type clue number three and done. I'm not seeing my comments. Yeah. So I'm really excited for today because it's World Card Making Day. And so this afternoon, Stamping Up's doing a free event. So if you've registered for that event, you can 
register on stampingup.com.au or if you're um, in the States, stampingup.com. Um, you can just register for that and you can watch it any time during the month of October. So if you don't have time to watch it this morning, you could watch it tomorrow or at some other point. So, yeah, it's it's going to be a really good event. It starts 2 p.m. Eastern Daylight Savings Time or 1 p.m. Queensland Time. All right, so you're done, Glenda. That's great. All right, somebody else has joined us too. That's great. So make sure you say hello. All right, so we're up to clue number four. So you're going to attach your punched, your stamped circles to the um, centre of your coloured decorative circles or if you're using a um, square or whatever you're going to attach them to those okay now you want to make sure that your sentiment layer is completely flat because it's not going on the front of your card okay hi Jody lovely to see you you're not crafting today either. I hope you, this is, you'll like this card. It's um, it's a nice, easy fun fold, and it's pretty quick. Um, so yeah. So if you were crafting along today, Jody and Kathy, what would you? What stamp set or paper would you use? Would you be making Christmas cards, Would uh, Halloween cards? I'm hoping my order arrives today. I've ordered the Halloween um, paper and, um, and stamp set. And I am so excited because I've got this fabulous little project in my head. And I wasn't going to order any Halloween stuff this weekend. This Sorry, this year. And I've ordered it. Oh, you'd be doing Christmas cards. Oh. Any particular stamp set that you think that you need to use, Kathy? Because I'm using a very cute one. I really like this one. Sadly, I don't know if these dies, and I need to check whether they match with the um, tree dies that are in the mini catalog i have to check that because I, if if they did wouldn't that be great anyway um yeah the star one. Oh, i know the one that you mean and i don't have my catalog upstairs i should bring a spare catalog up here just to make sure that i um Yeah, what about you, Jodie? You would be the very Christmas one. Ah, but you've only got the DSP. Have you got the punch? Because the punch is awesome. Because the punch punches out the shapes. All right, Glenda, sorry, I was chatting. If you finish with that step, just type four and done. I'm pretty sure you would have finished that by now. Yes, you have. Great. Sorry, I missed that comment. I was too busy chatting and reading the other comments. Okay, number five. So you're going to fold your base card in half. Um, let me show you that one. And then you're going to affix this very vanilla or white cardstock on the inside to the right-hand side of the, the um, fold line, something like that. Okay, so, and you can choose whether you want it to have equal borders all around or you want it to have more of a border on the left. Or, let's see if I can zoom that in just a little bit more. Let's see this one. Just 
Just trying to make sure it's really easy to read. I'll zoom out when we finish the clues. Okay, so when you've done that step, just type five and done. Oh, I'm pretty good at keeping things straight. Did you notice we have a different background today? Oh, it's on your list. Ah, oh, Glenda. I haven't even done step five yet, but I was playing. Okay. All right, let's move on to step number six. All right. So, it's pretty easy so far, I think. Yeah, I thought it was a nice background. It's a bit arty and... I've used that bear's punch, Jody, a lot more than what I thought I would. So this is a piece of designer paper is your biggest piece. Um, okay. And I really hope I got the measurements right for the American viewers because... Um, I try, I want to make sure that they can craft along too. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, when you've done clue number six, it's type six and done. Now, I centred mine, but you might put yours any way you like. You might put it on an angle. It's up to you. Okay. All right. Thanks, Glenda. You basically get a private class today, Glenda. All right, clue number seven. Now this is the hardest clue, I think, or maybe. So you're just gonna fold it on the score line. Now, when you attach it to the card, I'm gonna turn that over and score it this way. When you attach it to the card, this back bit is what attaches to the base the front of the, the card and the score line will be on the left okay oh well, you could put it on the right but I don't think it would look quite the same and you can if you were doing this at home um, outside of mystery stamping you could do this in a different way like you could adjust the size to make it whatever size that you want and so you are going to center it top to bottom and left to right Ooh, sorry Glenda I've stuck to my card all right so that's how it would sit okay does that make sense now glenda i don't like to show you my card halfway through and you've got to make sure you score it straight because i just didn't i need to fix it no all right, so when you've done clue number seven, type seven and done. It's a nice, easy clue. Jodie, what are you up to today? Are you 
um, crafting today for World Card Making Day. Okay, we've got some clue number eight. Using your glue, stick the smallest piece of pattern paper, which is this piece, to the front flap. Okay, this, oh, sorry, you can't see that piece, I'm too far down. So the smallest piece goes on the front flap, outside of the front flap. Okay, so the flap is currently closed. All right, then you open the flap and you glue the larger piece, which is this one here, to the right hand side of the fold line on that very vanilla white piece. And it should have a border um, all the way around it. Well, Jody, you should watch the card making um, event this afternoon. And, you know, you can chat to people. So you could, if you saw me online there, you could chat to me if you wanted to during the event or your other crafty friends. So you can watch it together with people. Okay, when you've done clue number eight, but I would register because it's, even if you don't, like you've seen the cards, I've already got some of the cards, they don't have all of them, but they've got some of them, the instructions for them are already available, and um, they, if they're not to your style or you don't have the stamp set, that's okay, it's an idea, you could use the layout or you could use the um you could swap it out with a different stamp set if you don't have it so you've done number eight great glenda all right let's turn over to number nine so now this is i can't really show you this so using the dimensionals, layer your stamped image. So it's your, I'm going to show you the back, this circle with the image on top of it. And you just want to put, hang on, you just want to put the, um, I'm only showing you the back side of it. I'm not showing you the front because I don't want to give too much away about my card. You're going to put dimensionals down one side, so down the left-hand side of the image, so this side. So when you flip it that way, um, you're going to, um, and you're only going to attach that image to the smallest flap. So you can open the flap. That's probably a really convoluted way of saying what I needed to say but I don't know how else to say it that was a hard clue to write so when you've done clue number nine just type nine and um so Oh, didn't you know that, Jody? It's a really good, it's really good. And you can, um, yeah, so they've got, yeah, they've got all the measurements available. They've got these, for three of the cards, step-by-step -step instructions already available. They've got what supplies you need. Um, you can still register right up until um, the end of today, I think, or at least until the it goes live. And it's not on Facebook, it's on a standalone platform. So, yeah, you don't have to worry. So, if you're watching this later on YouTube, which it'll probably be too late by the time I upload this to YouTube, but it will be um, a good opportunity to watch, um, register. 
anyway, I don't know what I was going to say with that. All right. So, Glenda, if you finish clue number nine, say nine and done. I can't see anything yet. You should have, if you had hit register, you should have got an email. Okay. Okay. Um, and the email will tell you everything that you need to do. So, I'm just... A look here, nine and done. All right, number 10. So this is probably the hardest part of the whole card. Well, I think it is. So you've got your, so on the inside of that flat piece, you're going to um, line up your sentiment piece so it will be behind the... Um, Piece on the front and you're going to stick it to the right hand side to the pattern paper okay um, so mine's going to be a bit crooked because I didn't think it through properly but it's okay hmm. so what I how I normally do it and this is you are going to see more of your card, my card than I want you to. Is so I've got my piece at the front. I'm going to line this piece up behind it, but I need to put a bit of adhesive on it first. So line this piece up behind it here. Okay. Uh, you just got to get your little pattern right about that and then you just close your card right, close that flap okay and press it down and it'll stick to your pattern paper I'm not showing you the whole step because I want to be able to surprise you with my um, my finished card Okay, so when you've done clue number 10, which is 10 and, oh, sorry, yeah, 10 and done. We don't normally have 11 clues, so I was a little bit, um, a little bit ambitious, I think, with these clues. All right, so, it's funny, my, um, my iPad has the wrong time yeah, and my phone calendar has the wrong time for mystery stamping, so it's saying that it's going to start now. <laughs> All right, so once you, so you can attach it with glue or um, adhesive. If you attach it with glue, you've got a bit of wriggle room. All right, 10 and done. So can we guess what clue number 11 is? Yep, I bet you you can. So shall we have a look? Jodie, do you know what clue number 11 is? Glenda, I know that you know. You've done this so many times that you know. That's it. Let's bling it up. All right, so you could use your Wink of Stella. You could use your embellishments. These embellishments are really cute. They're the Faceted Gems Trio Pack. And look at the colours. Aren't they pretty? I don't know if they're the right colours for my card, but we're going to give it a go. If not, I'll just use some um, rhinestones because I have them up here. 
bloody up here. I try to keep a pack of rhinestones upstairs in the study. It's your favourite step, Jody. I knew that. Okay, so I'm just going to do a bit of splatter on mine. Make my bird. Now, if you had, and this is one thing I didn't bring upstairs, if you had, um, if you were doing a tree or something like uh, on the snow, you could use some shimmery white embossing paste. And that's, I'll show you my card without it, but um, I will put some shimmery embossing paste on mine. Is this your favourite step too, Glenda? Or do you like the stamping? I, I love using that Winker Stella. It's my favourite thing. When we did our card buffet last Saturday, we had um, every, pro, every one of the six projects had Winker Stella on it. You love this step too. All right. So do you want to see my finished card? Let's have a look. I'm not sure that you really do. I think that you... I think I should just hang up now. <laughs> you do? Okay. Well, I've, I've even been really organised today. And I have... Um, not only prepped the card for this, um, to make, to craft along with you, but I have, um, also prepped some other samples as well. So let me show you my finished card for my very cute stamp set. I'm assuming, Glenda, that you've finished. So we're just going to zoom out a little bit. If it's going to let me. I don't know if I can. Let's see if it lets me zoom out. It's not going to let me. So this is my little berry card. Not letting me zoom out. Why does technology do this to me? Like I said to Steve the other day, I can't work the air fryer because it keeps, it doesn't recognise my fingers. Isn't that funny? <laughs> so this is my little bear, bear card. So we've got a little flap on the front. I'm going to put some, because I had to cut it, I cut him out of paper. Um, I'm going to put some embossing paste here some shimmery wipes to cover up his because he was on the very edge of the paper so I had to I'm gonna have to cover his feet so this is the inside of the little flap and then that's the inside of the card so do we like this one this is a really like you a really easy card that you could prep lots of so um, I think it's quite cute. So that's the card I made today. Would you like to see the other two samples? Oh, well, even if you don't want to, I'll show you. So this is the card I practiced on. So this is all just, I didn't, um, layer him up and he's that's a piece of dsp i didn't the reason i didn't layer it up is because the paper was a bit flimsy and these are the um little rhinestones that are in the um oh, they're like a 
there's a tub of it's got rhinestones and music notes and it's I think it's for shaker cards so that's the inside of that one and this is the tree set that I um, thought so do we like that one all right and I've got a third one and I'm not sure about the third one I like the colours of this one and I really like Pretty Peacock for Christmas cards. I think it's a great colour. And the reason it's got stars on the inside, let me just explain that to you, is because I got ink boogers because I used a um, block that was too big. So I got little ink boogers, so I had to cover them up. All right, so I'll show you the last one, which I'm not too sure of. And I did it using a square just to show you that you can use a square. So this is the Perch in the Tree stamp set. And the paper is from the Gone Fishing um, pack. And I love these sentiments. I'm trying to make sure that you can see these. Let me. These, um, love these little thingies here because they are speckled. How cute are they? This, uh, and they're in a couple of different colours and different sizes. So I thought they went. I'm not a fan of wild wheat, so I didn't know um if this would work so and then i've just done the inside i'm not completely happy with the inside because it's a bit hard to read because i needed to re-ink my um oh see so love the colors on this one and i haven't decorated the inside i've just done so the bird is um it's colored so it's stamped in Saddle Brown stays on ink and it's coloured in pecan pie, copper clay, wild wheat and cherry cobbler and I have um, like I painted all those colours on with um, Wink of Stella. So the wild wheat is a beak and little highlights. So I wasn't completely sure about this one. But I think it turned out okay. And I think that the um, square turned out okay. And that was an old stitch shape die. Um, so I could have done some more stamping on the background. But I think it's, it's okay. Now, what you could do, and I haven't done this on any of my cards, is before, if you wanted to, you can tr slightly change the order of how you do it. And you can wrap some ribbon around this, the back of this um, flat piece. So then you could have a, a bow that's tied here. And that way um, your flap will stay closed. Okay, so they are our three mystery stamping cards. So who, which one do you like best? I have to move them so you can see them. Um, just trying to get them in the right spot. There we go. Do you like the perched in the tree, the tree, or the very cute one? Hi, Sue. Happy World Card Making Day to you. We've just finished our mystery stamping. You like the first two of your favourite. Ah, oh. is that because you're not a fan of the the bear, Jody? But you've got the bear paper. Um, yeah, I think the first two are my favourite. Actually, no, the second two are my favourite. These two are my favourite, and they're so very, very different. Um. I think I struggle with this one because of the wild wheat colour because I'm not a fan <laughs> of wild wheat. It's a great neutral and accent colour though. Okay. You love the bit. All right. 
Ah, as in the bear. Okay. Yeah, I do like this. I think it's a nice card. You've got your sentiment. You've got plenty of room to write. And it was very hard to show you how to do those steps without giving too much away. All right. And I do like this one because you've got plenty of room. You've got your sentiment. But then you've got another sentiment inside. And we've talked about how we've covered up those ink boogers. And this one, um, if, I, if I really hated that as much as I think I do, I could put a, um, I could re-ink re my ink pad and put another sentiment, um, like I could re-ink my ink pad, put it on um, the sentiment maybe on a vanilla oval and cover that up, but it's not too bad. And yeah, I've left plenty of room for people to write. So there are our mystery stamping cards today. I hope that you um, watch, well, I hope to see you online during the World Card Making Day event, um, which is in a few hours time. I'm really excited for that. Um, and, oh, I'm glad you like them. Oh, Jodie, you got flamingo slippers. Oh, did you see my thing yesterday, Jody, about World Card Ma um about World Smile Day and what made me smile? Flamingos always make me smile. I don't want more flamingos, but they always make me smile because it always reminds me of watching Alice in Wonderland's cartoon with my mum when we were kids and um, watching the flamingo croquet and my mum and I and my daughter and I we always walk around saying do you play croquet so yeah so there are three cards and um, yeah I hope you have a fabulous world card making day and that you get to be a little bit crafty I'm um, looking at, I just have to see how I go over the next couple of hours. Um, my team are supposed to be coming over um, for, uh, to craft together and watch World Card Making Day. Um, but I haven't been very well overnight. So hopefully I'll feel a little bit better in the next hour or so and we'll be able to craft together. Anyway, everyone have a fantastic day and happy creating. Bye for now. Thanks for playing along, Glenda.